So this has been a long time coming. Hello everyone. It, um, I know it's kind of been quiet on my channel. I know. Um, before I begin, I just want to say that this uh, recording will be a little bit stumbling. I did write a script at, just to get some bullet points across, but most things I'm going to improvise because I couldn't be bothered to finish the rest of the script because I was like, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'll just improvise. Um, I'm just going to jump straight to the point because there's no reason to explain anything that's uh, no reason to explain everything that's been happening in my life that's prevented me from keeping a consistent pace of making the things I love. All that's happened so far is just the year's been rough and recently had to fight off a throat infection that I thought was just a mere cold I could sleep off. But yeah, that was not a mere illness. <laughs> so the, yeah. What's been going on with Fasav? That's mainly what I wanted to talk about. So it's already been two years that episode one, part one came out, and wow, times really do fly. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not liking the current story of it. The series has been through the ringer ever since around 2018 to 2019. I don't remember exactly when I created it. And time and time again has the story changed quite massively. I do enjoy what I have so far. However, I was realizing that some story elements were not making sense, and it was hard to find a way to explain more of the lore within the series. That's when I decided to make the prequel stories, starting with Beginning of Time, the book series, and Angel Sinner, a upcoming, hopefully PMV, um, animatic little series detailing about the stories of the gods and whatever, and other stories that I have. These stories have helped me to build the lore a little bit more strongly, and it's been helping me flesh out the missing pieces that I was looking for. It's still a little all over the place, but also it's kind of intentional. The world of Fasav is a huge confusing mess, and I like it as it is. So what does that mean? This means that it will be a good while before I can actually get back into Fasav itself. Um, I'm still working on its rewrite because, as you know, I finished up to episode 5 of the first season while I think almost completing episode 6 script before I um, stopped continuing writing to work on the prequel stories. So in the meantime, I am going to try to rewrite these scripts to have it fit with all the established new lore that I made and I hope you guys will enjoy it because I'm kind of excited to present some things that I have made. But what about the format of the series? What is it going to be? Okay, it, it's time to confess. I really jumped the gun on making episode one because, yeah, um, I was just wanting to jump on the animated series bandwagon that I've been seeing going around lately. And I was like, hmm, you know, I want to I want to dip my toes into it, see how it's like. And I really should have grounded myself when doing that because... I came to the realization, I cannot animate. It's just, unfortunately, I cannot animate. I would like to learn animation sometime in the future, but right now, it's just not on the plate. Um, what I'm expecting for the format of the series so far is a mixture of all things. So the main series, I'm still kind of in the water of what I want it to be. I would like it to be a series, like I want people to watch it to enjoy. It would be very amazing. But if I want that to happen, it'll be a long time before that comes out. So I think in the meantime, Fasav is going to just be little short bits of PMV music stuff, music videos, and animatic little ideas and all that, so, far, so on and so forth. I know my PMVs aren't really the best because obviously I don't know how to tween or any of that stuff. Like I said, I really would love to learn animation, but that is something for future me to really deal with. So what's the format going to be? Undecided until further notice, basically. A uh, TBA, to be honest. So what's to expect for the future of Fasav? I remain hopeful, which is kind of weird because normally I don't feel ever hopeful for the things I make. But I am hopeful. I really, really have been working the past couple of years of working on the prequel stories. 
and I think it really has paid off to the point that I really cannot wait until I can get back into Fasab again. So yeah, I do remain hopeful. Right now, beginning of time book one, I am setting to be released on January 14th of 2025, which is the day of my birthday. I will definitely keep you guys posted when it does come out, but I really, really hope you guys will enjoy when the book comes out. I have been working on this thing for a year, I think it was, I think it's been a year, and I finally got in contact with a publishing company who is willing to actually publish my book, and it is such a feeling that I love because ever since I was in middle school, I've always wanted to publish a book of my own, thanks to the to the publication of my half brother's book. So yeah, I am really really excited for when book one comes out, and I hope. You guys can afford to read it and support me. I will definitely, of course, update on where you can buy the book. And I will just be so grateful if you can support me. <laughs> now, I just want to finish by saying one little thing to my team, who are mostly of my friends who have volunteered to work on FASAV, like either as a voice actor or a background artist or any of that. I appreciate you guys so much. I am so sorry I had to put you through such a difficult position because I am terrible at keeping a consistency when me, myself, I am not good at at the moment because of life things and work. So I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for actually agreeing to my dumb little idea that I've been wanting to make and I really hope that you guys have the best in your careers and you get you know just have some success and personal personal enjoyment you know so I thank my team from the bottom of my heart you guys really have helped me in a time that I didn't think my story was going to get this big well, I quote unquote big because it's not that well known, but you know, thank you to my team. Um, so I believe that is all. Uh, thanks for listening to this little rant. Well, not a rant, but a little, little explanation for what's been going on with the Sav ever since, you know, episode one, part one came out. If I can just say one thing is that I am hopeful for the future. And yeah, that's all. All right, guys. See you next time.